The first pure kicker ever in the Hall of Fame, Jan Stenerud, to get us started. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. They're led out by their big-bodied electric quarterback, Cam Newton. Cam has all the skills that you're looking for, the arm that can do everything, the ability to run, hard to bring down because of his size, but the joy that he plays the game, I think that's his stock and trade. That's his calling card. That's what sets him apart from other players. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Going to give this time to the tailback. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. A nice run here early on. It didn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber and runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Now a give right side. Peyton. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And finally marked down at the 23. Let's go. Let's go. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him, but don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. And yeah, nobody leaked. Big play. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. To throw is Newton. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. On third down, Peyton. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. It's probably a pretty good sign here on the opening drive of your guys from the secondary are coming up and spilling things in the backfield. How about the adrenaline and aggressiveness that led his eyes to the backfield to run up there and make that tackle, setting a tone early for his defense. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. No score after one on EA Sports. Here's Newton. That is caught by Moss for a Dolphins touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch as his guys are on the board first here tonight. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Kai Forbath on for the extra point. And that makes it 7 nothing Dolphins. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This is taken at the three. He's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they're led out by the number one overall pick back in the 2001 draft. He's been around the while. The lefty, Michael Vick. And his task in this situation is making sure this team knows that there's a sense of urgency, yet somehow still stays calm. Because your natural impulse, your first possession is not until the second quarter. 
is you got to attack right away. Throw something big at them right away. Yeah, you've got to move the ball, but maybe be a little bit careful in doing so. They'll run on first down. Peyton, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Ah, uh, yes, Reggie White. I remember when they first started calling him the Minister of Defense. It was back at the University of Tennessee. Snuffing out plays like that. Did you see that tackle for a loss? Mm -hmm. I remember him turning around the LSU game in 1983, but a similar play. Reggie White, one of the all-time greats. 13-time Pro Bowler Reggie White. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now a handoff here to his running back. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. On third down, Peyton, and he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. He loses four, and it brings up four. An ideal start defensively. They already have the touchdown. Now they get the stop. Just like they drew it up on the chalkboard. Does that sound dated? Right? Am I, am I out of touch a little bit? <laughs> it's all right. All right. Grease board, heck, computer, exactly what you want, though. Score on your first drive, stop them on the first drive defensively. On is the Hall of Famer, Ray Guy, to punt this away on fourth down. This is brought in at the 21. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. 20. On first down, Peyton. He'll have a first down past the 40. And now nothing but green ahead of him. And all the way in for a nice touchdown Walter Payton 71 yards and the Dolphins strike quickly here for six points and with that carry he's already over 100 yards here in the first half and partner you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now right especially to the play caller give me the ball again <laughs> and, again, and again, again and again it's not that heavy sir I'll take it now four bath for the extra point And it's good to make it 14-0. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. the touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away this fielded a few yards into the end zone and no run back here this will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25 yard line so here is the home side to take over on offense. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll ban And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. Been such an impressive first half to get that lead. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. 
Not wanting to risk another sack. They'll play it safe with a run. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And taken right at the 35. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the second half. So let's get you back out as well to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken at the three. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. So here is the home side to take over on offense. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call them. Well, he cannot get away. Down goes Vic. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Here's Vic. And the pressure gets to him again. Sack there by Bruce Smith. Now that's the way to start the second half. Back-to-back -back sacks. Whatever the halftime speech was, I hope they recorded it. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Working out of the gun, Michael Vick into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? <laughs> no, I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. He's turning in a pretty impressive performance running the football and a big reason why they have this nice lead. And in days gone by, we would clip this out and put it up on the refrigerator, wouldn't we? Clip out the box score. Nowadays, not too many newspapers out there. Maybe you screenshot it online. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Now a give right side. Peyton, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and that is going to set up third and goal. In their mind, certainly a field goal try would be a letdown. They had the great starting field position, now facing third down. Newton now to throw. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. 
Randy Moss. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Dolphins use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game being on second half no matter what, whether it's first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. For Bath, the extra point, and that makes the score 21 to zip. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Back now here on EA Sports. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trailed. Now Vic stripped. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And this is brought all the way back. A fumble recovery and taken to the house for a Miami touchdown. So the big fella gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown. Good thing he didn't have to go too far, though. You know the trainers were very happy about that. Imagine having to go get him in the end zone, escort him to the bench, and give him the oxygen. They were loving the fact that he got in without having to run very far. Forbath to add the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. This is taken at the three. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. So here is the home side to take over on offense. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. That throw by Vic, incomplete. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Throwing again. Vic, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Reggie White, his second sack of the night. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. The offense on third down tonight, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be a tough third and 18. Vic now. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Reggie White in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. Here's Ray Guy now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. Nice. 
nice stiff arm. Underused, but still effective. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him. As it is, it'll go as a 19-yard return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. They'll run on first down. Peyton, and it's a fumble. And this will be scooped up by the defense. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. And it's a defensive return for a late touchdown. So they still need somewhat of a miracle here, but at least that gets him a little bit closer. Extra point by Stenerud, up and good. And it's now a 28-7 ball game. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And the Dolphins are going to recover. Now they're down big Let's here go. in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort, at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing go, else, go. now you've Ray, Ray, Ray. put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. An all-time great tackler, Brian Dawkins, making the play there. They'll keep it on the ground. Peyton, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be third and ten now. On third down, Peyton, nifty move. And he's going to be about a yard or two short of the first here. He needed the 35, but didn't make it. A good effort there, nine yards, but it's going to leave him looking at a fourth and one. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 18 big yards on that one. And a Miami first. And that'll just about do it for us in this one. You've notched another win, and the next challenge awaits.